Today, we will take some questions from stats, statistical methods. Okay, let's look at the first question. If a boy cycles 8 km at a speed of 8 km per hour, so how distance is it? पहले 8 किलोमीटर के लिए जो आपका स्पीड है दैट इज गिवन एज 8 किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड वॉक्स अनदर 8 किलोमीटर एट द स्पीड ऑफ 2 किलोमीटर पर आवर अब बेटे यहां से मुझे आप बताओ दैट स्पीड इज डिस्टेंस बाय टाइम राइट सो व्हाट विल बी द टाइम बेटा हियर टाइम विल बी डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड सो इट विल बी 8 बाय Eight, मतलब हो गया one. Here, beta speed is distance by time. So distance cover हो रहा है eight kilometer and time uh, speed जो है हमारी. So beta यहाँ से उल्टा कर लेते हैं बड़ी ones. So time will be distance by speed. So distance is eight kilometer. Speed is two kilometer per hour. So time is four hours. Now average speed. will be beta total distance by total time. ठीक है जी? तो total distance कितना cover हो रहा है? 8 km यहां and 8 यहां. So total distance covered is 16 km. What is the total time he is taking? So he is taking 1 hour here and 4 hours here. So 5 hours. So this will be 3.2 na 3.2 km per hour will be your average speed. So 16 by 5 answer should be B. Please avoid this. Huh? This is not the correct answer. Answer is 16 by 5 B. Okay, come to the next question. Two events are set to be independent. Two events are said to be independent if the occurrence of one. So independent events are better. Mathematically speaking, which independent events are when probability of A intersection B is A into B. So independent events are those events in which, for example, rain and tossing a coin. Now, rain ke hone se, coin mein kya result aega? Head or tail is not affected, right? So, when the occurrence of one event does not affect the other event, then beta it is called as independent event. So, when one event does not affect the other event, it is called independent event. So, answer is B. Okay, come to the next question. The Fisher's index is, so beta Fisher's index is actually uh, last pair into uh, Pache under root, right? That is Fisher's index. So, when I talk about Fisher index, it is under root of last pair into Pache. So, because this is under root of last, uh, last pair into Pache, matlab it is the geometric mean of last pair and Pache. So, answer will be A. Okay, come to the next question. In order to apply correctly the chi-square for goodness of fit, which of the following assumption is correct? The observed and theoretical distribution contain the same number of elements? Yes. Observed should be equal to actual. Jitane observed mein numbers honge, utne hi actual mein hone chahiye. So this is true. No expected frequency can be less than 5. Yes, you cannot work if it is less than 5 because then you will have a problem with your degrees of freedom. So this is also true. Observed values are taken from random sample. Ha, randomized method he use. Hota hai. This is also true. So all the above options are true. Take a better come to the next question. X measures wages in rupees. Okay. Then unit of its average is rupees and unit of variance is rupees. Take care. So let's think about this better. Please understand that whenever you find average, jabhi bhi mean, median, mode nikalte ho, it is in the same unit as variable. But when you variance, standard deviation, ye sab nikalte ho, it is unit free. It is not affected by the unit. So variance. 
is unit free. Variance is unit free. This is what it wants to test here. That do you understand? So variance may say that it is um, it's called unit less, huh? It is it is called a standardized unit less method. Measure. Standardized unit less measure. So variance may say 10 rupee, 15 rupee. No. Variance is always unitless. Variance ka koi bhi unit nahi hota hai. So the answer to this question is that average will have uh, will be in rupees, but variance will be unit less. Okay, better come to the next question. <clears throat> if x is a random variable a and b are constant, then variance ax plus b. So better variance of ax plus b will be variance of ax plus variance of b. Okay, variance of a constant is zero. So this will be zero. And whenever a constant is a variable with is with a variable. Yahan pe a ek variable ke hai na? A ek constant. Hai. X ek variable. Hai. A is coming with x. So a is a constant coming with a variable. In that case, you can take the constant out but with a square. So beta yojaga a square variance of x. So, this can be written as a square var x. So, answer to this question will be D. It will be a square variance of x. Okay, beta, come to the next question. The probability of drawing a spade from a well-shuffered pack of card is. So, you have to go ahead and you have to draw a spade. Beta, what is a spade? Any idea? So spade is basically a so so basically when you talk about card, a spade is looking like this. I mean, um, I may not be able to draw it very nicely. I'm not that good in drawing. Something like this. Aisa this is a spade. Chicken. So, beta, whenever you talk about cards, you have spade, diamond, and then you have this, and then you have a heart. Isn't it? Right? So, the four... Uh, you have four, uh, you have four, right? And out of which, beta, when we talk about spade, there are 13 spades, right? This is called club. There are 13 club. There are 13 diamond and 13 heart. Har ek 13, 13 hote hai. So out of well shoveled pack of card, 52 cards hote hai, okay? And I have 13 spades, so probability will be 1 by 4. So answer to this question is C, 1 by 4. Okay, come to the next question. The coefficient of correlation is found to be 0 0.80. So R is given as 0 0.80. If all the values of X and Y are reduced by 50%, correlation of coefficient will be. Okay, fine. What is coefficient of correlation? Coefficient of correlation is basically the value of R that you have, right? Now, whenever I talk about this coefficient of correlation, an important question is asked, ki kya ye scale or origin se affect hota hai ya nahi hota hai? So, this can be written as... Uh, uh, you know, B X Y into B Y X. Agar regression ki terms mein baat kare, under root. So, is this coefficient an ek or formula bhi hota hai? So, you can have N summation X Y minus summation X summation Y upon N summation X square minus summation X whole square under root into N summation Y square minus summation Y. 
ये कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन होता है राइट नाउ क्वेश्चन इज इज इट अफेक्टेड बाय स्केल और नॉट दो चीजें होती है एक होता है स्केल एक होता है ओरिजिन ओरिजिन थोड़ा सा समझ लेते हैं ओरिजिन होता है जब आप कुछ भी ऐड या सब्ट्रैक्ट करते हो टू द वेरिएबल्स एंड स्केल होता है जब आप कुछ भी मल्टीप्लाई या डिवाइड करते हो नाउ इट इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन द चॉइस ऑफ ओरिजिन और स्केल दैट मींस इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ओरिजिन एंड स्केल मतलब जब आप ओरिजिन या स्केल चेंज करोगे द कोएफिशिएंट कोरिलेशन विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड अगर सारी एक्स एंड सारी वाई वैल्यूज को सेम से मल्टीप्लाई या सेम से डिवाइड करोगे द कोरिलेशन कोएफिशिएंट विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ स्केल एंड ओरिजिन सो इट विल रिमेन द सेम सो आंसर इज ए ओके कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर पॉइजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विद एन इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू द मीन इज नाउ थोड़ा सा अच्छा आइडिया रहेगा इफ यू रीड अबाउट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ठीक है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू शुड एटलीस्ट एटलीस्ट नो अबाउट बाइनोमियल पॉइजन एक्सपोनशियल इतनी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के कैसे मीन और मीडियम निकलते हैं यू शुड गो हेड एंड नो अबाउट इट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द मीन of poison distribution beta the mean of poison distribution is given by lambda yahan par lambda is not given to us right so because lambda is not given to us the only way because i don't know where lambda is the only way in which i can go ahead and i can find the mean of this poison distribution is by thinking that it is approximately close to a binomial distribution aur us case mein uska jo mean hota hai wo n into p hota hai so 200 into 2 by 100 right so the answer to this will be 4 so that's the answer to this question that the mean of the poison distribution will be 4 is this clear okay okay beta let's come to the next question so you are given what will be coefficient of correlation between x and y and two equations are given to you so we know that the coefficient correlation is nothing but the geometric mean of the two um, of the two slope coefficients jab hum x ko y pe regress karte hain aur y ko x pe regress karte hain to jo do slopes aate hain unke geometric mean ko coefficient correlation bolte hain so r is going to be nothing but b1 into b2 under root so beta the first answer is absolutely correct okay let's come to the next question a commuter drives 10 miles on first day at speed of 60 second day 15 third day 10 the mean speed of the commuter is theek okay? hai so beta 10 miles at the rate of 60 km per hour so we know that स्पीड इज डिस्टेंस बाय टाइम तो टाइम क्या हो जाएगा डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड सो इट विल बी सिक्सटी बाय सॉरी इट विल बी टेन बाय सिक्सटी अब एक बात यहां पर इंपॉर्टेंट है यू आर गिवन डिस्टेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ माइल्स सो यू मस्ट कन्वर्ट माइल्स इन किलोमीटर क्योंकि नीचे किलोमीटर दिया हुआ है राइट right? so 10 miles will approximately be 16.09 km so beta yahan par i will write 16.09 16.09 km usi tarike se next day pe 10 miles at the rate 15 km per hour to so, time kya ho jayega time will be distance by speed so distance is 10 miles only and speed is 15 km per hour day 3 pe kya hai beta day 3 pe 10 km per hour so 10 miles at the rate of 10 km per hour so time will be distance by speed 
distance is 16.9 and speed is 10. Ye time laga day one pe. This is the time taken on day one. This is the time taken on day two. Time taken on day three. So, beta, now we want to ask what is the average average speed. So, average speed will be total distance by total time. So, total distance 30 miles ho gaya, 10 miles plus 10 miles plus 10 miles. Teen then travel kiya na. So, total distance is 10 miles. 10 miles is 16.09 kilometer plus 16.09 kilometer plus 16.09 kilometer. So, total distance by total time. And total time kitna laga beta? So, total time is 16.09 divided by 60 plus 16.09 divided by 15 plus 16.09 divided by 10. This is the total time tick. Is this clear to you? Okay. So, bus is ko solve kalu. Whatever answer you get will be your final answer. So, this will be something like this. Apna apna method hai. Just use any method. You need to just solve this. So, 1 plus 4 plus 6 by 60. 11. 180 by 11 is your answer. To this question. So, if there is a divide, kar lete, 180 divided by 11, that will be your answer. So, it should be 16.36. So, the answer to this question beta will be 16.3. Right? I hope this is clear. By harek ka lag lag time nikalo, total distance by total time karo, and that will be your average speed. Okay, so with this, we end today's session on questions from statistical methods. Thank you.